Haleluya. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Yes. We thank the Lord once more. Hallelujah. So wherever you are right now, just open your lips and thank God for this opportunity. Just close your eyes and open your lips. Thank God for this opportunity to allow you to be in his presence. That is the greatest opportunity. Just open your lips right now and thank him in the name of Jesus. Sir. Open your lips and thank him right now. Open your lips and thank him. Thank him for this opportunity. Open your lips. Thank him right now. Give him glory. Honor him. Glorify his name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Say thank you, Jesus. Sir. 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 Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus once more. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. What do we need to live? Ask your, ne your neighbor and say, what do we need to live? Say, neighbor, what do you need to live? Ask yourself, say, what do I need to live? Say to your neighbor, what do we need to live? Yes. Many people, when coming to the issue of life, many they say to live, they need oxygen. Some they say to live, they need money. Some they say to live, they need the word of the Lord. But the answer of many, they say to live, they need money. Is that right? Most of the people, that is the common answer. People, they will tell you they need money to live. They say for them to survive, they need money. Ask your neighbor, say, what do you need to live? Ask the other neighbor, say, what do you need to live? This one. I need, I need money so that I can go to the doctor. I need money to buy a house. What do you need to live? This lead me to the title of my message today, which I was given by my father in the Lord. We need faith to live. Tell your neighbor, say, we need faith to live. Say, neighbor, we need faith to live. Let us go to the word of the Lord in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 10. We will read verse 38. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Just raise your hand when you are there already. It reads thus. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Verse 38. 
Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone throws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Yo nae bale hajena, iri, me alukileng utla pila katumelo, imba ikara ha akwenya, moya waka, uke kwa khatiswa kiena. Close your eyes. Father, we thank you. This is your word. Your word is everything we need. Our soul is waiting for you. In your word, it's our deliverance. In your word, it's our healing. We thank you, Lord. Let your word take control in our souls. Let your word take control in your children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Like we have said, most of the people, they believe that to live, they need money. This is the question many people may ask themselves. Can faith give me oxygen? Can faith give me money? Can faith give me car? Faith doesn't focus upon the pleasures of this world. But faith dwells in the spiritual realm. Faith it is the belief in Christ himself. That is the working grace of the Lord. And what is grace? Grace, it is faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say to your neighbor, you need faith to live. Say again, you need faith to live. Daniel in the Bible. Daniel He walked amongst the lion. Though people, they were expecting him to be devoured by the same lions. But faith didn't allow the lions to devour him. Why? It's because if you live by faith, nothing can hurt you. Even if crisis can come against you, it will never destroy you. Say to your neighbor again, live by faith. Say to your neighbor again, live by faith. If you live in faith, even if you, you walk in the midst of flames of fire, they will never burn you. Because if you have faith, you please God. And God is on your side always. Do you have faith? You, you, you read in the book of Genesis. You need understanding. If the Bible says, in the beginning God created the world, how is that possible? You need faith to understand. Say to your neighbor, you need faith to understand. If you have faith, then you will know that except God, no one created the world. Say to your neighbor again, you need faith to live. Say, I need faith to live. Faith, it's there in our life to make things that are against us to be for us. Can I repeat it again? I say faith in our life is there to make things that are against us to be for us. Some of you, promotion is against you. But if you have faith, promotion will be for you. Some of you, breakthrough is against you. 
But if you have faith, breakthrough it will be for you. You need faith to live. Hey neighbor, I need faith to live. Say I need faith to live. You are worried. I need car, I need car. If car is against you, if you live by faith, what is against you, it will be for you. Once you have faith, you are not living by worries. When the Bible says do not worry, God was speaking to those who have faith. If you don't have faith, you will always worry. Say to your neighbor, if you don't have faith, you will always worry. God will say, do not worry. He will say, God, how can I? The righteous shall live by faith. If you draw yourself away from faith, you will never please God. Say, I need faith. Say, I need to live by faith. The Bible says, all things, they will work together for good to those who love God. You will never please God without faith. You will never say you love God without faith. Faith it is the only substance that pleases God. Say we need to live by faith. Yeah. Say we need to live by faith. Yeah. What are you looking for? What is it that is against you? Is it your progress? If it's against you, you only need to live by faith. Yeah. Faith in the word of the Lord makes everything to be possible. What is impossible to men, through faith in God, all things are possible. You read the book of Mark, chapter 10. The Bible says, have faith in God. If you have faith in God, you will say to this mountain, move from this place and throw yourself in the sea. The same shall happen if you live by faith. What is it that is impossible? If it is against you, just live by faith. I need money to live. Who said so? You need money. But money is against you. For money to be for you, you need to live by faith. You have sickness for healing to be for you. You need to live by faith. Then healing will be for you. You are in bondage for you, for, for freedom to be for you. You need to live by faith. Then freedom will be for you. Say, I need faith to live. To sit down. You need faith. To eat. We need faith. Say, I need faith. Can, can we go to the book of Romans? Let's go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 14. Verses 23.
Are you there? The Bible says, For this reason I also have been much hindered from coming to you. But now I no longer having a place in this path and having a great desire this many years to come to you. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Chapter 14. Baroma, how do you get a little Yes, 23. Yes. But he who doubts is condemned if he eats, because he does not eat from faith. For whatever is not from faith is sin. Can you read it in so to yes? Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Even to eat. We need faith to eat. If we eat without faith, we are not pleasing God. Hmm. If we sleep without faith, we are not pleasing God. Say, you need faith to live. Say you need faith to live. In everything that we do in this life, the only way to survive, it is through faith. Say you need grace. Most of the people they will say it's by grace. Not understanding that grace it is faith. It's having faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is grace. You need faith to live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say I need faith. Say my family needs faith. What is it that is against your life? Just live by faith. What is it that is hindering your life? You just need faith. My father in the Lord, he says, I quote, Faith, it is the heavenly currency. For you to purchase, you need faith. You need enough faith to purchase heavenly things. Do you know that breakthrough, it is the heavenly thing? You will never go through in this world without faith. Ask those who have learned through the word of God in every sense of the word of God. They will tell you that in every situation that you pass, you have to learn. As a man of faith, you know that uh, even if you go through pain, uh, you will go out of that pain uh, having learned something. Uh, when you have pain, you need to smile because you know that you are learning. You don't have job. In this cross, as you are going to the cross of Jesus, you need to laugh. You need to go there dancing because you know that your freedom it is found in the, at the cross of Calvary. Do you have pain? Do you have pain on your body? Just laugh at that pain. Are you looking for a job? And you have faith? Just laugh. What is it that you are looking for? That is against you. If you have faith, you have freedom to laugh. Why worry? I 
Are you looking for money? Begin to dance. Because money is on your way. Are you having sickness in your body? Begin to dance. Because healing is on your way. Anytime you face difficulty, begin to dance. Begin to laugh. If you have faith, you know that God is by your side. If the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? I say, when the Lord is on your side, what can be against you? Anytime you have faith, God is on your side. Sickness is a thing of the past. Disappointment is a thing of the past. When God is on your side, that's why I say, when you have faith, you know everything that is against you, it will be for you. If healing is against you, it will be for you. That's why you need to begin to smile. Oh, devil. You are so funny. You are disappointing yourself. When they fire me at my work, ah, God, God is beginning a new thing in my life. Uh, I will open a big company. Nothing is a disappointment in my life. Life, it's a learning experience. If you have faith, you know that anywhere I go through, be it in hardships, I learn something out of that hardship. My sickness is not like others. That's why when I'm sick, I begin to laugh. Say, neighbor, you need faith to live. Say, neighbor, you need faith to live. Oh, Bishop, I need money. I need money. That money is against you, man. He doesn't want to come to you. But you need the spiritual force. That will pull that money to come to you. You need the spiritual force. That will pull that healing to come to you. That spiritual force. It is faith. Say you need faith to live. Say you need faith to live. Say I need faith to live. That's why you come across. And you said, this time in situation needs I mean faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which doesn't need the servants of God. They need your faith. Now here I have to stand by faith. You need faith. Yeah, no situation she doesn't need to worry. Mama, you to talk to your mother. Mommy, I'm hungry. Hey, hey you'll be killed by I mean, You need mother. faith. Faith will make situations that are against you. To be for you. Say thank you, Jesus. Sir. Say thank you, Jesus. Sir. Are you going to live by faith?